What's up, y'all? This is the Peace Dealer. Um, I wanted to share my thoughts on this whole Kodak Black issue because, uh, first of all, I wasn't going to say anything, but just the way this has been progressing, um, especially as a Gemini man, we say we already say too much as is. So I wanted to share my honest opinion, kind of show you the true perspective behind this. Uh, first of all, what I'm going to say is stop, stop listening to social media before you go to the source. Because this is just proved to me without a shadow of a doubt. Social media is just inherently manipulative. They will misconstrue intent. It, it's happened. Now I'm looking back at everything that's happened from Roseanne Barr to Kanye West to even Azalea Banks. Um, it's kind of unfair how people's intent and words they say get completely misconstrued. But before I, before I go into this unpopular opinion, I do want to say... Uh, Kodak's Black's comments towards Lauren London were very seemingly distasteful. Um, even, especially when you have your homeboys around you saying, yo, sh you shouldn't say that. Um, I can understand how something like that will be taken way out of context towards people who are grieving a very strong man who, you know, has passed in his community. But at some point and at some time, we, we really just have to stop it, you know, we really just have to stop doing this bullshit of, of just getting unreasonably mad at people through social media. Um, I think that the way that people have responded to Kodak Black is purely hypocritical, unnecessary, and really stupid at the end of the day. And that's some of you too. Some of y'all have like written paragraphs about why you don't like Kodak Black, but you won't keep that same energy towards Gucci or other, you know, people who disrespect disrespect the black community on a daily basis. I even hate using that word black community because it divides us more than uh, unifies us. But yeah, for those of you who aren't familiar with the whole Kodak Black situation, you're not missing much. For some reason, we like to make the most serious of trivial situations that don't even matter ask yourself if the comments kodak black makes really matters and if you got really angry over the comments someone else said to his homeboys um not even directly addressing the live you need to really ask yourself why you let stuff like that trigger you do you really, do you really find that angry i can understand if you find what it represents angry but um is it really that big a deal or do, do you just love getting caught up way on waves but anyway Dude said some very uh, seemingly distasteful things about Lauren London, and when I say seemingly, uh, they they definitely they definitely didn't sound like words that will come from someone who grasps the severity of a situation and has the respect that other people would like him to have. I totally get that. Uh, I also understand at a large level that the way people responded to him was really off-putting and uh highly hypocritical if if smoke if smoke boy oh what's this thing? if someone like lil pump if someone the age of like smoke perp basically someone under 30 went up on social media talking about oh fuck kodak screw this dude blah 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 i'd understand it because like they haven't really reached the age of maturity yet where uh i don't, I don't even say about smoke perp but if it was someone around his age range i can get that you know what i'm saying if, if they if their first reaction is to instinctually go on social media and basically talk about another dude i get it okay but the fact that you have these older dudes um kind of sharing their opinions on what someone else told his homeboys, it's really weird considering that they never keep that same energy to issues that matter. Uh, I mean, maybe for a moment, but not as long as they've been doing for this dude. And when you listen to his apology, he outright says that he truly meant no disrespect. I, when I looked at him apologize, I really saw the eyes of a frustrated individual, even down to him saying that people misconstrued what he says. And, you know, considering that he's a Gemini and people just have a long history misconstruing the ideas of what Gemini say from Kanye West to Azalea Banks, shoot, even Trump. I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. It's not really surprising to me why people will not accept his apology to Lauren London, which here's my unpopular opinion. I personally respect Kodak Black more 
because of his apology. Once again, I I began to lose respect because I heard the opinions of social media before I saw the video. So when you hear about how they were saying what he did, I had a picture of him being on live like, hey, Lauren, what's up? I know your man's passed, but you looking like a whole widow out here. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you a year. When you see the actual video, he was talking to his friends. His back was turned to the live. He didn't even directly address her. He at no point directly told her this. He was talking to her. So even though he didn't have to apologize, he still went on social media and apologized to Lauren and said if if she felt disrespected after saying he didn't disrespect, he doesn't feel like he did, he apologizes, which, you know, a lot of I don't know why in this culture people feel like they can demand apologies from people they don't know. It's really weird. You, you guys want people to double down off speaking their free opinions off social media sites that literally give you the right to speak your free thoughts. People have to definitely take the consequences of what they say but the way that you know the way that y'all just get mad over the smallest stuff is weird considering that every day heinous things go on and y'all don't keep that same energy why is it think about this so far people have gone hard to cancel kodak more than they have gone hard to cancel gucci remember what happened to that gucci boycott but it is what it is. It really is what it is. Um, I understand that some of the people who did respond, uh, maybe they just don't have the best control over their temper and their anger. And, you know, they, they eat, but even though it's weird because they're older people, um, when you have a younger dude pointing out that you could have hit up his line, and this goes, this goes outside this dilemma. If, if, if you have beef with someone, stop going to social media. To, to, to get more clout, I mean, to vent your frustrations and talk about some trending stuff. If, if you are in a position to talk to that dude directly, why are you going to go to social media and blow stuff up? So that's just my opinions. You have a dude who is known for saying wild stuff. It's if, if, if this was the only thing he said, okay. But I think less than a few weeks ago, he was on the news for what he said about Lil Wayne twice. He said some crazy out-of-pocket shit about Young M.A. He said some crazy stuff um, about, what was the first one? About dark-skinned women. Y'all are, and, it's, and it doesn't help that Lauren London is, is a, a lighter-skinned woman, but, you know, y'all are showing more anger towards this comment that he didn't even make directly towards her than that. It just seems very hypocritical, especially because some of y'all act like social media activists and you, you're, you're, you're paying more attention to trivial stuff than stuff that matters. Damn, I wish we had the same energy back in the day when, you know, a, a judge out in Philly was selling black people into prison, which is facts. Look that up. It was a program for private industrial complexes. But it is what it is. I mean, we love talking about this stuff, but y'all will literally take actions to cancel a man who is using his money to actually help people in his community, being like Nipsey Hussle, um, more than people who don't give a damn about this. Some of you, think about this. Some of you will stop listening to Kodak, but you still gonna wear Gucci. So I don't know, man. I'm, this Gemini slander needs to stop because Neptune is square. All of our Gemini sons, y'all misconstruing everything we say. It's like we can't have a free opinion, and in most cases, we're right. I've seen I've seen people tarnish a man for telling the truth because they don't like how it sounded. So that's just my two cents. Um, you may not like it. You may agree with it. Comment your thoughts below. I do not necessarily. I would not say the same thing that he said about Lauren. I, I don't think those comments were tasteful at all, but I can see how he was sincere with it. But, you know, y'all glorified him for being a project baby, just like y'all glorified Cardi B for being a street bitch. And, you know, whenever they act like for real how what you glorified y'all crucify him so could you please pick and choose you know what i'm saying if you're gonna take off kodak black's music because he was disrespectful towards lauren london then how come you're still playing music that disrespects women on a daily basis it just looks hypocritical but y'all stay blessed man peace